All right, I had a question on FRS radios and GMRS radios. They share some of the same frequencies and in the same band, so how come you need a license for one and not the other? All right, let's break down both of these radio services so you can decide which one is best for your situation and uh, maybe, maybe your family or maybe your group if you're planning on uh, using these radios for a special outing or something. The FRS radios, they are uh, really good. I said this in another video before, how good they are. They're very good for close range, especially if you're going to be maybe a, a half mile to three quarters of a mile apart from the next person that you're talking to. Perfect for situations like that. GMRS go a lot further and they can do a lot more. Now, both of them do share the, some of the same frequencies. The FRS uses the upper and lower side of the GMRS band, but uh, the problem with FRS is, well, you just don't get any power out of the radios. That's why you only get a half mile, three quarters of a mile or so, depending on you know your circumstances where you are. Um, the power level in a FRS radio is gonna be a half a watt. They're gonna be limited to the uh, little walkie talkies and in fact basically that's really what they are is uh, kind of a, a modern day walkie talkie remember the ones we had when we were kids they had the antennas that always broke the you know, the metal antennas <laughs> well they've improved them over the years and using different frequencies so they work a whole lot better especially for a walkie talkie function if you have like say a, a farm or uh, a ranch that uh, is just a few miles uh, big, but most of the work that you do is within, you know, say a mile, let's just say a mile, you can keep up with people. So the FRS radios work really, really well for that. Again, half watt, about a half to three quarters of a mile. You don't have to have a license. You can go pick them up in the big box stores. You're good. Now, the GMRS, that's, that's, that's an upgrade. If you, if you like an upgrade, a lot of us, you know, it's like, hey, we're, give me an upgrade. Give me something that's a little bit better than what I already have or what I'm thinking I'm going to get. And that would be the GMRS. Now, the GMRS, you do have to have a license, but you don't have to take a test. And all you need to do is just, uh, you're going to go on the FCC site. You're going to, uh, to get an FRN number. And from that point right there, you're just gonna pay for your license and give it a day or two, you're gonna get that license. It's gonna be pretty quick. Um, now with uh, GMRS radios, the nice thing about that is, is you get 50 watts total power. Now your handhelds, they're only gonna be about five watts, maybe 10 watts at the most. Not gonna be a lot of power, but it is more power than the FRS radios and you will get out a lot further with the handhelds. Now, if you would like to put a mobile unit in your car, a little, remember the old CBs, we'd put them under the dash. They've got better, way better mounting situations now. You can put them in cup holders and there's brackets and things like that. In fact, I'll leave some of those in the description below to where you could just temporarily mount them without drilling holes in your car. So those work out pretty good. Now, the, the nice thing about the GMRS mobile radios is they go up to the full 50 watts that's allowed by the FCC, and you get much further coverage with uh, the GMRS. Hey, this is a good time to let you know, hey, please like and subscribe to our channel. We'd appreciate it so much growing every day and we certainly do need your support. So uh, yeah, hit that like button, subscribe, really subscribe and leave us a comment. What do you use? Do you use an FRS radio or do you use a GMRS radio? Now, the other good thing about the GMRS is the fact that they are able to uh, jump on repeaters and if you don't know what a repeater is a repeater is basically a gmrs radio that has a transmit and receive radio that's got both of them and when you put your gmrs radio maybe your little walkie talkie on uh, on that frequency and you put in the uh, the codes in it so that the translator or the uh, repeater rather well, I'm in broadcasting, so I'm used to saying translators, but a repeater, you put in the codes, you can hit that repeater, you key the mic, and it will, it will turn that repeater on and re 
broadcast you at a much broader place. So if you've got people that's scattered all over town and you have a repeater in your town, you're not only broadcasting off this little walkie talkie, but you're broadcasting to the whole town. So everybody gets to hear you in a pretty broad range. So that's the beauty of the GMRS. Now, again, you have to have a license because obviously uh, more responsibility, the more responsibility, yeah, the more, the more we need to do. So um, GMRS works fantastic. Love GMRS. GMRS is not good. Yeah, I said this in the other video too, that uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not great for just traveling because a lot of people aren't on there waiting to tell you the traffic conditions uh, down the road. CB still works uh, probably the best for that. But GMRS growing all the time. People are more and more getting involved in the GMRS uh, radios than, uh, than they ever did before. So you're gonna start seeing more and more people get on board with the GMRS. So to sum it up, yeah, they both share pretty much the same frequencies, but uh, the GMRS is gonna give you a little bit more uh, channels to choose from, gonna give you a lot more power to, uh, to be able to broadcast your signal out to a greater distance, and in fact, maybe even across the whole city that you're in and, and everywhere there's a repeater, you can tune that frequency in and, and catch the repeater and you can get more people that way. The, the FRS radios, again, they're just, uh, they're walkie talkies. That's basically all they are. They share the same frequencies. You don't need a license, but they serve a huge, huge purpose. So you might want to try that out. Depending on your situation. Some, some of us want a simple, small, right? Yeah, just down the road a little bit. Some of us want to go across town. All right. I hope this clears things up between FRS and GMRS. The choice is yours.